Hi and welcome back to a new video. This is also a new product and also project announcement. This is something I've been working on together with Elmore from Elmore's Labs and also PCBWay over like over a year meanwhile. And this is something that just came out of a basic like advertisement at the year because over a year ago PCBWay, which is a manufacturer for PCBs starting from like quantity of one to like a thousand or like a hundred thousand, they also do rapid prototyping. Um, 3D printing of metals and plastics and everything and they contacted me simply to have some kind of advertisement on my channel and then I thought instead of getting paid I thought it would be cool to get like physical components in reward from them which I can then share and raffle to you guys. Initially the idea was to simply make a PCB ruler which is what we also have right here and then this idea kind of escalated after talking for a few days with Elmore because we now ended up having like a functional circuit on the ruler, which is also called their ruler. But yeah, let me just show you up close. So this is the ruler, obviously a joke with my name and also the fact that this actually is a ruler. If we open this up, we first of all see the PCB ruler inside and then followed by a lot of electrical components like semiconductor parts, which means that it's like a microcontroller, voltage regulator, LEDs. We have a USB programmer and other like SMB components, which are sitting underneath. We start with backside and that's something I would have loved during my studies or also back in school. I know that this kind of thing is like usually playing in the gray zone, at least this was the case for me at school, but we decided to add some kind of formulas on the back, like for example the basic calculations of Ohm's law, resistor series, resistor in parallel, voltage dividers and all this kind of basic electrical calculations you can find on the back of the ruler. And also in case you forgot about which is the 79th digit of pi, then you can also look it up right here on the bottom. But let's move over to the front side, which is certainly more interesting. The original idea was to just have some SMD footprints on here, like for example, the stuff on the bottom right, which could be a power stage on your VGA, for example. But then we also thought it would be much nicer to have something actually useful on the ruler. And that's what you can find starting on the top left. We have different sized SMDs for, for example, resistors or capacitors right here. And then you pick up box number six, which is marked with soldering challenge, which allows you to play around and also get a hang of how to solder SMD components, if you maybe never did that before. You can start off with 2512 size, which is the same as what you can have on NVIDIA cards with shunt mods, for example. So the shunt mod resistor is 2512 size, and it goes all the way down to 0201, which is extremely small. I think it's 0.6 times 0.8 millimeters. So this is extremely small. And you have 10 of each included, except for the biggest one, it's only one. But you have 10 of the smaller ones and then you can start play around with SMD soldering. You can try different techniques. For example, just start off with your ordinary soldering iron and some tin. Then you can try different fluxes or you can also use solder flux, which has the solder already included. You can try your heat gun or whatever. There's nothing you can hurt and there are plenty of components to just try the SMD soldering first. And once you're done with the soldering challenge, you can move on to the serious soldering. For example, place your microcontroller and you have all the other, no, that was the programmer, but you have all the other mechanical components like the battery cable and everything, which would go here. You can have the pin header, different buttons, the buzzer and everything, and just solder the entire circuit. The ruler PCBs were made by our partner PCBWay. PCBWay is a huge manufacturer for PCBs and all types of prototypes, including 3D printing and also CNC milling. If you're looking for a PCB, it could also be the quantity of only one, but you can also add like 100,000 pieces if you want to. You can check out the online configurator, simply add the size of your PCB, select what type of material it's made of, how many layers, how thick it will be, and you will straight see on the top right what kind of quote you can expect price-wise. And if you're looking for some rapid prototyping parts, for example, 3D printing could be plastics or metals, you can also get them and also very quick within a few days. And also CNC milling is available from PCBWay. You should definitely check out PCBWay in the link below. And I can also tell you that the quality we received is amazing. And just from my understanding and just looking at this, could also be a mainboard PCB just quality wise. The general idea behind this, apart from getting the basics to solder some SMD components, was that you're building up a circuit and this circuit allows to learn programming C. 
which will make your life a lot easier in a lot of different ways, depending on what you're doing, what you're aiming to do, if you're at school, if you try to study. But you have this programmer included, which allows to connect your circuit to your PC and laptop. And then there is a great documentation online made by Elmore, which, which you can also find if you go to the link of the ruler. And if you follow this great documentation, then you can try to get a hang on C, try to learn how this works. You can, I don't know, work with the buzzer, have the different types of uh, tones, then you can start working on the LEDs. There is an RGB LED included and you can try to work on the RGB LED, get the different colors working and all these kind of things. So I think that's very cool. And we decided to give away 100 of these in today's video. So you can just participate in the giveaway down below and we will send out 100. However, this will also be available in the Elmore store for $29. So if you're interested in getting one of these, then you should definitely check out the Elmore Labs shop. I can tell you it's a great product and it's also a great opportunity, quite cheap opportunity to learn C, which can help you do a lot of different things. Like for example, the Elmore EVC, everything he's doing is based on that. So it opens a lot of doors for you, especially as I said before, if you try to study something in this field later, might it be nano engineering, or some electrical engineering, then you will usually always end up in the first or second semester starting with C. And if you're already familiar with this, it will make your life so much easier, I can tell you, because I was not familiar with it and I was struggling hard in the first and second semester programming C. We can pretty much divide our ruler into three different areas, neglecting the soldering test area and also this kind of like decorative area on the right. But the thing on the left right here is the external voltage supply. If you want to rely on an external battery, then we have the microcontroller area right here with the pin header that is responsible for controlling the microcontroller. And then everything on the right right here is for controlling and pretty much output. We're starting with the first small circuit on the left, which is basically a simple voltage controller because you can supply an external voltage right here. For example, you could hook up a nine volt block battery with the included cable if you want to. And then this voltage regulator will turn your nine volt into the 3.3 volt supply voltage for the microcontroller. If you want to use the external voltage supply, then you have to bridge this small thing right here, just add a little bit of solder on top and then you can use the external voltage supply. Now the microcontroller is an STM32L051K6T6. It's a 32 bit and also 32 megahertz microcontroller featuring eight kilobyte of memory and also 32 kilobyte of flash storage on board of the microcontroller. Has 32 pins, is sitting in LQFP package. Some of the components surround it. For example, right here we have a bulk capacitor, which is responsible to make sure that you don't have like sudden power loss within a millisecond from the power supply. And then the tiny caps right here, like C5 and C6, are simple decoupling capacitors. Now this is our control and output area, I would call it. We have two buttons for the control. We have the buzzer on the right and we have an RGB LED on the left. The RGB LED is an LED which is combining three LEDs in one package. You can also see it a little bit if you look inside. It's featuring a red, green and blue LED inside one package. And on the left we have the responsible resistors for each LED because these resistors will determine how much current can flow through the LED and this way also influence the brightness of the LED. But since we're limited in how much current we can supply, the resistors are already predefined for you. Apart from that, you can use the three LEDs individually, like the red, green and blue, just decide to only use red or only green, for example. You can also use this with a PWM signal. And depending on your duty cycle, you can use the different intensities for the different LEDs and this way, yeah, configure your RGB LED depending what you want to see. Same principle also applies for the buzzer. Depending on what kind of PWM frequency you're running, you can hear different frequencies in the audio. 
If you're soldering on the microcontroller, RGB, LED and buzzer, you should pay attention to the direction you're using for soldering, especially for the RGB LED, for example, on the bottom right, this small triangle is indicating pin 4 and not pin 1. Pin 1 is sitting on top left. Same goes for the buzzer. We have an indication on the buzzer right here, and that should be pointed towards the bottom left. Microcontroller has the indication on top left for pin 1. There were multiple ideas behind the ruler. First of all, starting with soldering, because you could also obviously just go ahead and buy like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. But with this, you're buying also the SMD components. You get to the feel of how to solder these tiny SMD components. We also included multiple of most, like the small caps, for example, you have double the amount than what you would need. So if you screw up some of these during soldering, absolutely no issue. We also, for example, included the voltage regulator twice. You can practice on that. And once you get a feel on how to solder these, then you can also load up some of the example projects, which you can find online. Basics like switching through different RGB colors. And then also a second example project, which also allows you to use the buzzer, which is utilizing different PWM frequencies. And with this type of programming, you have a totally different type of access to like the microcontroller, to the cache of the microcontroller, to the registers within the CPU, because that is completely different from an Arduino, for example. And if you understood how this works, it opens up a lot of different doors, like the same principle that applies to, for example, using the buzzer with PWM frequency is also the base for like a RGB controller or like a fan controller. You can, you can basically do that yourself at home if you don't like Corsair IQ. Then you can mo make your own RGB controller if you want to. There's also somebody who already received this and he even hooked up an OLED to the ruler, which I find quite amazing. So that's pretty awesome. It also allows to use I2C or I squared C, depending on how you call it. And with this, you can use the ruler and connect it, for example, to different devices like an Arduino or like a Raspberry Pi. And this way you can start to learn how I2C works. And this is the basic principle of how to communicate, for example, with a voltage controller on a graphics card. The Elmore EVC, for example, is using the same technique. And this way, if you're more advanced, you can control voltages on graphics cards. So this is the very basic principle of doing a lot of different things, which can be really, really helpful for you, not only in the PC space, but also if you're going to study, if you're still at school, if you aim to do something with like electrical engineering, this is extremely helpful. I just loaded up the first example project. You always have to load the main.c. Then you go on the bug, on the tiny bug for debugging and then run play. And as you can see, the LED is already working. And then you have the two different buttons to cycle through the individual colors. This is just to debug if the basic functions are working properly. I now loaded up the second project. By clicking this, you can use the buzzer, I think. Yeah, let's just not use this because I think this could be pretty bad for you. I'm not sure how the microphone picks this up. And then on the button one, you can cycle through different RGB modes. If you go over to theruler.com, you will find the documentation and also the link for purchase. It's $29 right now, which I think is a very reasonable price for what you get and also for what kind of knowledge you can easily access online. If you go to like getting started and all this type of documentation, we will also do a second video, which will be way more detailed going through all the different components through the soldering and everything. But this should be just a short introduction video. But if you go over to the online documentation, you can find everything perfectly explained, starting from like documentation about how is an SMD resistor marked or what is a decoupling capacitor, all these kind of things and all the different circuits. You can look at this in a very good detail, but we will do a second video, but I will need your input. What do you want to see and also how do you want me to do it? We could theoretically even do like a live stream and then solder everything together and like solve problems, for example, that would also be doable. We were also thinking about doing some kind of like programming challenges maybe for you to come up with different projects you can also follow. But for the start, you could easily just go to the example projects, for example, the first one or the second one, the second one with PWM already active. You can then figure out how does PWM work, what kind of parameters you have to change to get different frequencies, for example, on the buzzer. That is everything is already completely available online. But I think in the second video, we will go through everything like how to use the ST-Link and how to use the software and everything. But for the start, it's already available online. I think overall, this is a great project, especially educational wise. Props goes out to Elmore for all the work he put in, especially in the documentation online and also doing the circuit and everything. So. 
Thank you very much, Elmore, just an awesome guy. If you want to participate in the giveaway, please also make sure to leave a comment in this video and then put your YouTube name inside the Google form. So I know that you're real and that's not just a bot participating in the Google form. You want to make sure that everybody is real participating and we're not giving out multiple to somebody. Okay, thanks and see you next time. Bye-bye.